My first step in the process was to make sure I'm getting the best price. So I go to Gosney's website. I check residential ovens, rock box. The dome was not what uh, I intend to purchase. So I knew I wanted the rock box portable pizza oven. So I click there, $499. When I purchased my rock box, olive was not an option available. So we only had gray and green i chose green and the only option available at the time i purchased was gas only which is this right here the attachment that you screw into the bottom now they have the dual fuel option for 100 dollars more where you'll have the gas option in addition to their version 2 wood burner attachment so that will also go in the bottom so you remove the gas and use that instead that is $100 more um, but I did gas only $499 so the next place I will check is Amazon okay now let's check Gosney Rockbox pizza oven. Okay, also $499. They also have the olive green option available, which was not the case, but let's click on it. Okay, so $499. It is not um, in Amazon Prime. I was logged in under my Amazon account and it did not show up as Amazon Prime. So, um, you'll have uh, the delivery date wasn't that bad but I did notice that amazon.com will charge tax so where when I went through the process to add it to my cart and check out I paid $499 even on Gosney's website whereas if I were going to buy it on Amazon's website it would have been, I believe, about a $20 tax added to the $499. So that is why I did not purchase it from Amazon. I also checked eBay. Okay, at the time I searched before I purchased mine, the wood burner 2.0 was not available for sale or at least not listed. But if you look here, each of the rock boxes are more than $499. Now, back in 2020, Rockbox sold the um, Gosney sold the rock box for about $700, $799, but it had the gas option and the wood option but it was the version one and so that is why it cost more than 499 dollars at that time because they were selling it standard with both options that you could swap out gosney has since updated their wood option to the version two which we can see here so they no longer include the version one so that's why when you go to gosney's website they just sell the version two separately, or you can get it as a kit with both. But this is this would be the version two instead of the version one. So I did not purchase from eBay either because it would have cost more and I was not interested in purchasing the version one burner that had a lot of customer complaints. The great thing is that Gosney took that into consideration and made updates and presented the version two. I purchased from uh, Gosney's website directly 
and within it may have been a week or so I had my rock box I quickly learned that I would need a sturdy patio car to hold my new pizza oven I found this on Amazon I really like it um, it's sturdy does the job you can see I have the propane tank attached to the side and I'm beginning the process with trying to attach the gas insert it is heavy it's quite a beast for someone of my stature I have it on the cart here it looks great it's nice and sturdy holding it up well um, I really like this cart okay so you'll see me fiddle around with this for quite a bit I think it's because I have small hands <laughs> but um, here I am trying to attach this with one hand trying to hold the pizza oven and attempting to use the other hand to twist the attachment in it's not working well for me it's not difficult to do you see I have to twist those bolts into the indentations I turn the pizza oven over onto the top which makes it easier for me to use two hands my husband has larger hands so he can twist it in with one hand most people won't have a problem with it <laughs> so here I am trying to get on my own and yeah using two hands if you have small hands works well easy enough and I am pulling the legs out so it's two parts there it is very sturdy and um, not easy to push around so I have to apply a bit of pressure to do that so in my opinion it's a good thing it's not cheaply made okay so here I am attaching the gas line to the propane tank this is my first time ever doing anything like this I don't mess around with propane tanks never have in my entire life so my husband's talking me through the process here I'm twisting in the gas line to attach it you'll see me pull back a bit because when I'm twisting I get a burst of air on my hand and it scares me a bit <laughs> I don't know what's happening so at this point my husband's telling me that I need to turn that knob to open up the gas line so again I'm a newbie with these propane tanks so in my mind I wasn't expecting to have to turn the knob as many times as I did you really want to keep turning until you can't turn anymore so I have a bit of hesitation when turning these knobs but then I try again and turn until I can't turn anymore to open it all the way which will allow the flame to come through in your oven so here I am removing the carrying strap I don't have the pizza oven turned on now but I'm doing it right now so you want to push in and turn the knob to ignite the flame there we are look at it so pretty so we are going to follow the instructions that came with the pizza oven here you want to cure the pizza oven for 30 minutes on low yep here we go we're gonna do that cure it on low for some reason I was expecting air to be escaping so I checked that like a weirdo hi Bo he's our giant schnauzer he isn't usually camera shy but in this moment he didn't want any parts so <laughs> bye Bo <laughs> okay so that is the oven on low flame after the 30 minutes we don't have any charring or uh, any bits on the front at this point. Here is the temperature we have after the 30 minute cure. You only wanna do this for the first time you ever use the pizza oven. So just keep that in mind. So at this point, I am going to want to turn the temperature or the flame up to high so you'll see me doing that here and um, we'll have to set it on high and bring it up to temperature that is the high flame it is gorgeous look at that so pretty okay so that is our temperature 
that we are at now. I should have started working on pizza dough at this point. I will pay for it later. Trust me. <laughs> oh, trust me. So, um, after running on high flame, we did get a bit of charring on the front of the pizza oven. It's fine. It won't hurt anything. And we are actually <laughs> at the right temperature right here. The internal temp on the stone is where I wanted it to be, but my dough wasn't ready yet. Ah. <laughs> so I will pay for that. Here I am trying to make up for it by turning the flame down to low. It won't be enough. <laughs> First week's is going in. Okay, it's not a round circle. First thing, but practice makes better. Not necessarily perfect. Um, not having a round pizza in such a small compact oven will cause problems when you're trying to turn the pizza because some of the edges will get caught on the walls of the pizza. It's gonna make it difficult to turn. So just FYI, it will get better as you practice more, but it will cause problems along the way. So you hear, you see me turning the pizza round and it's looking good, right? Yeah, I thought it looked great for the first time especially I mean you did see me um, hold the turning peel up to the flame to warm that up so you want to do that so you aren't going to puncture your pizza and cause all of your fillings to come out on the oven so you want to warm that peel up to do that look at it it's pretty I thought it was pretty Look at that first pizza. Oh, uh oh. Uh, not. Oh gosh, burnt. Ah, burnt. Okay, second pizza in. No time to sulk. All right, so second pizza is going in here. It's a bit closer to a round circle. You see me warming up the turning peel there, so it's easier to slide under the pizza. Reduces the risk of me puncturing and causing the feelings to spill out so here I'm turning turning I did speed it up a bit it's a really nice pizza dough recipe I mean, you can use your favorite look at that look nothing like the first burnt pizza isn't that pretty oh my gosh I thought it was perfect look at it ah look at that okay so what do you see here do you see the smoke forming on that pizza stone? Yeah, it's it's not good. No. A high temperature oven brush would have helped a lot here. You see me scraping all of those burnt bits on the bottom. I had no way to take those off of the bottom of the pizza stone. You don't want to use a wet anything because it'll crack your pizza stone. So the third pizza went in. And here we are. Now keep in mind, this third pizza is going in, sitting on top of those burnt bits. The pizza looks great, but those burnt bits are bitter. It looks great. Look at it. I, I mean, I was really proud of that, but the burnt bits do not taste good. What did I learn and what would I do differently next time? I would manage the pizza stone temperature better. How would I do that? Heat the oven to 400 C on high flame, then turn the flame down to low for 15 minutes. Assemble your pizza and turn the flame back up to high right before you launch it into the oven. This should get you to a stable internal pizza stone temp of 420 C, reducing the risk of burning those bottoms. I learned this from member Adam Atkins in the Rockbox Pizza Facebook group. Join the Rockbox Pizza group on Facebook. It's invaluable. You have to go there to learn all you can. An oven brush is a must have to scrape the burnt bits off your pizza stone. It does not taste good. It's bitter, it's gross, it'll ruin your pizza for sure. Round pizzas are easy to turn in the rock box. Those oddly shaped pizzas are challenging to maneuver inside of such a small box. Remember to have fun. It's food, it's pizza. Don't stress too much if you make mistakes. It's all a part of the process. Learn, laugh, and love your way through food and life. I did with this one. Thanks for watching.